Excellent. Thank you. Good framing of, of the two. Um, now we're going to get into the user issues, and I think that is kind of a, a predominant issue that we face. Um, certainly in the CAD and GIS days, you were either CAD, you were either GIS, there were stereotypes, there were friction points. Um, with them, with their, there perhaps is a new opportunity. And I think in organizations, um, how, you're, how you're categorized or whether you're under the IT umbrella, it has a lot to do with the, fun, the flexibility that you have, um, the different tools that you can use. So I'd like to ask um, each, and we'll start with Mike, what, what is the BIM user? What are some of the characteristics of the BIM user? Um, are, are there uh, skill sets? Um, is there a framing of that user that is, that is helpful um, to differentiate or, or perhaps uh, kind of move, move things along in the integration of, of the technologies? All right, so who is the BIM user? Um, so because uh, BIM is a process, I, I think that the BIM user is anybody involved in that process. If you're a planner, any uh, people that focus on planning in the room? A, a couple of you? You're part of the BIM process. If you do conceptual design or if you do detailed design, if you're an architect or an engineer, a surveyor, you're feeding data into the process. You're creating things as a result of that process. You are a BIM user. If you are working in construction and you're taking that, that model, that, that design model, and using it to do clash detection, you're a user of that BIM model. And if you're lucky enough to be able to inherit a BIM model through after construction, through the managed, operate and manage side of things, you are also a BIM user. So I, I guess that's the way that I would look at that in terms of a, a BIM user. Now, if it's software specific, then a more narrow definition, which, which I don't really uh, kind of endorse, is if you're using a specific piece of software, like let's say Revit, you might call yourself a BIM user simply because you're creating an information model. And, and that's part of the BIM process. Or if you're using, let's say, Civil 3D, and that's all you're looking at, I would still say you're part of the BIM process and you are a BIM user. But simply because you don't use either of those pieces of uh, software, but you're working with those detailed, those intelligent information models, I think you're definitely a BIM user. The GIS user, well, it, it's interesting. You would be very specific on the, the type of industry. But a GIS user in my mind is somebody that wants to use information in a geography, in a location-based Environment. It could be me going to a map quest and simply getting directions from my home to the location I'm going to. Or it may be getting into more specific industries, as Mike mentioned. It may be an architect wanting to take information, making sense of that information to make more informed decisions around the project. But that information may be geolocated. It may be information about the location of that particular project and what's going in the local conditions, road networks, soil types, different demographic statistical based information. That architect being very specific now may be wanting to look at that same geophysical based information to make more informed decisions around me. So for me, that GIS user I think we're all GIS users in some way or another because, again, our lives are just touched by so many geo-related items. The fact that I want to try and find a coffee shop with an application on my iPhone, or I'm an engineer interested in understanding what's going on in my local community so I can make those more informed decisions for feasibility studies, for exhibits, for public meetings, talking to those NIMBYists, not in my backyard, Groups. So the G my perspective the GIS user, I think all GIS users, really. Which by the way, I just want to highlight, sorry, my bit of my history, I started life as an architect. That, hold that against me, please. <laughs> sorry, I know there's one or two architects in the room, I just 
consulting the people I was trying to bring over to the GISO. 